Good morning and welcome back to Withrow Urban Homestead. Today is mid-August and it's time to direct sow our Chinese cabbage, the Napa variety. Now in this area, the cabbage is gonna get full sun, but Chinese cabbage needs a minimum of three hours of direct sunlight every day. It can handle partial shade. I want to space these out 12 inches apart and 18 inches from the edges. That means this tunnel needs to be 36 inches wide. Now these are tiny seeds, so you just wanna lightly sow them and sprinkle just a little soil on top. Don't bury them. Now for fall Napa cabbage, you wanna sow eight to 10 weeks before your first frost. Right now, we're eight weeks before our first frost, so this is perfect. August is also perfect because Chinese cabbage benefits from daylight that are decreasing in hours and temperatures that are getting cooler and cooler. In the spring, they can tend to bolt because temperatures fluctuate so much. If they have consistent temperatures below 50 degrees, they will send up that flower head and bolt. There's much less chance of that in the fall. The seeds are gonna germinate between 40, hang on, let me check my notes, 40, to 85 degrees, but they prefer a temperature of 75 to 85. So this is perfect because most of our 90 degree days are done. They're gonna germinate in three to 14 days. sowing three to four seeds in each spot and I'll go back and thin later down to one each. Now keep the seeds moist until they germinate. Then after that they're going to need one inch of water every week. The sticky papers, they're gonna help control white flies and gnats. And the sluggo is going to control 
slugs, pill bugs, and snails. The net is going to protect from the cabbage worms. I love these hoops. Now, if you look, the red head cabbage, those hoops are spaced 48 inches apart, four feet. For the Napa, it's three feet apart, 36 inches. So you can see the difference. So the red cabbage, they're a little bit shorter. I think it was 38, 36 inches tall. Where the Napa cabbage, putting them closer together makes it taller. It works either way. Now on recycling day, I'm gonna get more cardboard and we'll go back and finish sheet mulching this area. And later, we're gonna mulch this with fall leaves. And because I lay down cardboard in the fall and put down new mulch, I build rich organic soil underneath. Everything breaks down. My garden is full of organic matter. And for that reason, I don't have to feed my cabbage, even though they are heavy feeders. Thank you for visiting Withrow Urban Homestead. See you later. Bye-bye.